this book's not even in the top 10. Hey, what's up YouTube? Here are my top 10 favorite recovery or quit lit books. And keep in mind, not all of these are specifically written for the addiction genre, but they are all applicable to ditching the booze and learning how to live a life without alcohol. If you wish to pick some of these titles up, links are in the description. All right, let's get started. And Chris, please get those sweet sound effects locked and loaded. Here's my number one recovery book. Dude. You're going to start with number one. Go in reverse order. Chris, why don't you worry about keeping your side of the boulevard clean? It's street, and it's custom to leave the best for last. Uh, Chris, why don't you practice living life on life's... Terms? Whatever, Chris. All right, here we go in reverse order. Number 10, Tribe by Sebastian Younger. Now this book isn't specific towards addiction, but it drives the point home how we as human beings need community to thrive, for wholeness, to be happy, to be safe, and live a life where external substances are no longer needed. Number nine, Beyond the Influence by Katherine Ketchum. On January 1st, 2010, I went to the Northgate Mall in Seattle, that was a grim place, and I pulled this book off the shelf. I even remember that the song Fireflies by Owl City was playing, uh, and I lucked out. I absolutely love this book. It's a great umbrella book for addiction, showing just the wreckage that alcohol can do, the shit of what alcohol actually is, um, it's got a lot of facts, a lot of action, a lot of how to, how to quit, things like that. Highly recommend this book. Number eight, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. Now this quick read contains four pillars for living life. Number one, be impeccable with your word. Number two, don't take things personally. Number three, don't make assumptions. And number four, always do your best. Now I still struggle with number two, don't take things personally, but still working on it. Number seven, Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza. This guy is on fire right now, and I've been lucky enough to attend two of his live events. Now, this guy is all about showing you step by step in a methodical way how to create your new future through meditation. He goes deep on how to work with the unconscious, how to get past that analytical barrier in the brain and get the conscious and the unconscious communicating again. Number six, The Big Book by Bill and Dr. Bob. Now the first 164 pages is the how-to section, and then it's followed by personal stories, which I absolutely devoured first, and then I went back to the how-to component, because I don't think I was quite ready when I first read this book. Now on page 417 is an incredible passage titled, Acceptance is the Answer. And if AA is your jam or not, I still highly recommend this book. Number five, The Energy Codes by Dr. Sue Mortar. Now, everything is energy. We're simply vibrating at different frequencies. Dr. Sue Mortar explains how to get out of the story in the head and how to use the mind to locate the body to find those emotional discomforts and build circuitry through the breath. I absolutely love this book. She also taught me that all emotions are created equal, happy, sad, they're simply just labels and they should all be embraced at face value. Number four, In the Realm of Hungry Ghosts by Dr. Gabor Mate. Guys, I think Dr. Gabor Mate is the addiction guru of our time. There's a line which is, anthropologists have no record of addiction pre-modern times. That line alone just blew my mind when I read it. I also love his chapter on the $40 trillion waste of money called The War on Drugs. This book is jam-packed full of ways that we should treat addiction, how to view addiction. And he talks a lot about Portugal as the country who's laid out a roadmap for the rest of us of how we should treat addiction. Number three, Alcohol is Shit by yours truly. Yeah, here's my shameless plug, kidding. Well, kinda, um, but hey, I'm really proud with this book. Number one, I wrote a book, that, that was a challenge. But number two, uh, I also agree with everything that the author has to say, because I wrote it. 
Uh, and so after interviewing 277 people on the podcast, I learned a thing or two. Also, everything that's been beneficial to me on my own journey away from alcohol is in the book. Number two is The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. Guys, this book is a must on your alcohol-free journey because quitting drinking is just the beginning. And eventually, we have to go head to head, toe to toe, foot to foot, knee to knee. All right, I can stop. We have to confront the thinking mind. And this book, I remember the instant I read it, which said, you are not the thinking mind, but you are the consciousness, the awareness that observes it. I put the book down and it was Ah, good one, Chris. I like that. Um, and so why is this important? There is a narration in our mind that says, I'm sad. I need to take a drink. I'm happy. I need to take a drink. I'm angry. I'm jealous. Blah, blah, blah. I need to take a drink. When we can begin to distance ourselves from this voice, this voice begins to have less power and grip and control over us. Again, highly recommend this book. All right. And the number one book, Chris, let's get a drum roll going. Yeah, I like it. Actually, let's do some real drums. Let's go for it. Ah, let's go back to the drum roll. Symbol in three, two. All right, my number one recovery book is A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. Now, this book isn't specifically written towards addiction. There's a couple segments on addiction, but it's all about working with the ego, that voice inside the head, the pain bodies, and the emotional discomforts that we can feel on this journey. It's about how to deal with those, learning how to deal with those without taking a drink. And according to Eckhart Tolle, the two keys in life are living with presence and living in the now. And when we are living in the now, according to Eckhart, this is the holy grail of living life as a human being. And if you've listened to the Recovery Elevator podcast, you may notice in the intro and outro, we sample some of his teachings uh, in the music. Absolutely love it. This is by far, hands up. Hands down. Wait, hands, all right. By far, hands down, my favorite recovery book. So this was a tough video to make. The reason why is because there are so many great recovery quit lit books out there. Now here are some others that didn't make the list but were vital on my journey. And again, if you wanna pick these up, links are below. First one is Seat of the Soul by Gary Zukoff, As Bill Sees It by Bill Wilson, This Naked Mind by Annie Grace, Dao De Jing by Lao Tzu, Everything Is Eft by Mark Manson, and Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. Okay, listen up. This is super important. So most likely your alcohol-free journey began with quitlet or recovery books. But please listen to this advice. In fact, Chris, can you help me out making this a little bit more serious? A rubber duck? Serious? Come on, man. I was thinking something more like a gavel. Yeah, okay. All right. So please keep in mind that you can't read yourself out of an addiction. You can't think yourself out of an addiction. This must be coupled with something else. Maybe it's a program. Maybe it's an online recovery community. Maybe it's poodle therapy. <laughs> That's my dog, Ben. Anything else. It just can't be the recovery literature alone. This is very important. And I highly recommend you add an in-person community component to this journey. So in the comments, let us know what your favorite recovery or quit lit book is. And like always, please like and subscribe. And before we go, Chris, any closing words? Hey Paul, that's a great list. Uh, there's a few on there that I've read and a few more that I'd like to check out. One more that I wanted to add, uh, which is also by Mark Manson, The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. Uh, for me, that was the first book that kinda put it in a way that I could understand the idea of putting our ego in check uh, and realizing that maybe we're not the center of the world. Uh, but Mark Manson does that in a way that I think is funny. Um, he seems approachable uh, and it was, it was a good read for me. So uh, thanks again, Paul, and thanks everyone for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.